So now that we've kind of understood how our body makes air and where to move it, we want to talk just a little bit more specifically about sound production. So what we're going to talk today about today is the resonators of the voice. So remember, when you breathe in and make a sound, your diaphragm pushes down, your lungs fill up with air, it goes up through your vocal, co vocal cords or vocal folds, and they start to rub together and vibrate. Then that sound starts to bounce through your resonators. So the main resonators are the chest, the throat, the mouth, the nasal cavity, and the head. I'm going to take off my glasses to show you guys this. So what we're going to do is you're going to get into your performance position of, I uh, can't walk and stand, um, feet hip width apart, one leg slightly behind so that your knees are loose, tuck in your spine, take that imaginary string, pull it up so that you're standing nice and tall, and we are going to do an open, or er, like an open mouthed hum. So what you're going to do is you're going to make an ah sound, is an A-H. And then you're just going to close your lips around it so you've created a hum. So taking a deep breath. Um, so your teeth should not be touching. They should still be in an open position and your lips just close over it. So the way we kind of move around in our resonators is kind of based on pitch. So as you go through and do this, I want you to see if you can send the vibrations to different areas of your bodies. Remember, it's the chest, the throat, the mouth, the nasal cavities, which is kind of right here where your mask is resting on the top of your face, so kind of the upper cheeks and the nose, and then the top of the head. So I'll demonstrate, and then you guys try it with me. Um, so as you go through, feel around, and see if you can feel the different vibrations in your bodies. This is the resonator. So this is just raw sound bouncing around off of these areas of your body. And then tomorrow we'll talk about the articulators.